Hi everyone, welcome to Eco Learning Classes. This is Professor Geeta Mahesh. Dear students, today we will be discussing with respect to story of Goldsmith Lala and the process of deposit loan created by commercial banks. We all know RBI has a monopoly authority to issue currency. But commercial banks are not just a purviewer of money, but they are also called as manufacturers of money. When series of banks work together and when money will not come out of this banking system. If we undertake a transaction with a check, are nowadays digital payments, digital transaction using debit card or credit card helps the commercial banks to create more loans. Here they are the uh, manufacturers of credit money. Now how these commercial banks are going to create credit or how they are going to create a loan. Let us understand the commercial banks, the process of deposit loan creation with the help of a small story. Dear students, this is very important for six marks. If you write a story of Lala, you can score six on six and even you can expect this question in the final exam too. So here the story. Once in a village, there was a goldsmith called Lala. So, once in a village, there was a goldsmith and his name is Lala. He is a goldsmith and his name is Lala. In this village, you can see here, dear students, in this village, all villagers use gold to buy goods and services. That means, in this village, Gold was acting as a medium of exchange. Once people thought that it is not safe to keep with themselves, so they decided to keep gold with Lala. When villagers started keeping gold with Lala, Lala started giving them a, a receipts. So receipts, paper receipts, they started giving. Who? Lala started giving a paper receipt. The receipt may be like this, okay, you can see. In the name of Lala, this certificate guarantees the safe return of 100, uh, sorry, 10 gold coin whenever bearer demand. Dear students, here bearer means whoever going to own this receipt and whoever is going to give this receipt to Lala, at that time, he will give 10 gold coins. So this is what we call it as paper receipts that Lala used to issue whenever villagers start uh, or uh, deposit with a Lala. Dear students, as I told, here you can see, in the village people use gold as medium of exchange. People in that village keep gold with Lala. In return, Lala issued paper receipt. Gradually, paper receipt began to circulate as money because whoever is going to own this receipt, when this receipt is given to Lala, he used to pay 10 gold coins. For example, if there is a person, A person and B person, if B person is going to give this receipt to A person for purchasing few goods from A person, then the A person will get this receipt. When A person uh, submit or give this receipt to Lala, Lala in return will give 10 gold coins to that person whom he is going to pay to A person. So because of this reason, this receipts itself started acting as a medium of exchange. Here you can see paper receipts started acting as a 
medium of exchange. Now let us suppose Lala had 100 kgs of gold deposits by people. So it means that Lala is going to issue paper receipts equivalent to 100 kgs. When already uh, Lala has issued 100 kg worth of paper reserves, at that time Ramu come to Lala and ask for loan of 25 kgs of gold. So Lala collected 100 kg. See here, Lala collected 100 kgs of gold. Uh, so he has 100 kgs of gold reserve. And he also issued 100 kg worth of paper receipts. Now Lala decide that everyone will not come to withdraw their gold deposits at a time. So now he can give a loan to Ramu and charge for it. Charge for it means he can charge a rate of interest for giving loan. So now Ramu gets 25 kg gold as a loan and now this 25 kg gold will be given to Ali by Ramu. When Ramu uh, gives a 25 kg of gold to Ali, Ali again he is also a villager. He will go to Lala and deposit this 25 kg of gold. When he deposits again, already 100 kgs worth receipts are issued by Lala. Now when Ali deposits 25 kg with Lala, again what Lala will do? Lala will give paper receipts worth of 25 kg to Ali. Now already 100 kg worth paper receipts are issued. Now again Ali will get 25, so 100 plus 25, total paper receipts in the village is 125 kg gold receipts are there. Okay, this actually the total of gold with the Lala is just 100 kgs because out of 100, when you he takes a 25 and gives that to uh, Ramu as a loan, the left out gold with the Lala is just a 75. Now when Ali deposits 75 plus 5, 25, it becomes a 100. So gold reserve is only 100 kg, but paper receipts are 125 kg. So this 25 kg is not there, but Lala issued receipts. So because of this, whatever the 25 kg that Lala has created, no? So in this manner, commercial banks are also going to create a loan. Here you can see, dear student, the effect of paper receipt acting as money would have risen to 125 kgs now. It seems that Lala created money out of thin air. The modern banking system works precisely the way Lala behaves in this example. This is how modern banks creates credit. Dear students, if you like, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.